Here's what I'm making today. Hi, I'm Susan. Today I'm participating in a crock pot desserts challenge for fall. And this is this challenge is hosted by Valerie of the Hargett Life. I will have her channel listed in my description box down below and I'll also have the playlist listed. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to spray the inside of my crock pot with nonstick spray. Now I want to place my apple slices, and that's five, four to five cooking apples peeled and sliced. I'm going to pour those in. Now I want to combine two thirds a cup of packed brown sugar. One half cup of all purpose flour, one half cup of quick cooking dry oats, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. fourth to a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and I like grating my own. You want to give this a good stir. Now into my dry mixture I want to cut in two tablespoons of peanut butter and it didn't specify chunky or creamy I'm using creamy and also a third a cup of butter that's been softened Now you want to sprinkle this all over the apples and you want to cover your, your slow cooker and cook it on low for five to six hours. And here it is and it smells so good. Now my family liked it, but they said that it wasn't very sweet because there was no sugar added to the apples to begin with. So I suppose you could add more sugar if you needed to. I took one simple little bite because I'm doing keto just to see what it was like. And I thought it was plenty sweet, but I haven't been eating a lot of sugar. But I think the vanilla ice cream balanced it out pretty good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Thank you, Valerie, for hosting this challenge. And until next time, bye, y'all.